good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you are watching this video. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you. But anyway, on today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys with me to my client's house. Yes, I'm making a house call on today's video. And I'm super excited about doing this house call because I have a portable shampoo bowl. Yeah, that's right. And you guys are going to be able to see exactly how this portable shampoo bowl works firsthand. Yes. Um, and I guess I'm super excited about it because this is going to be my first time using it on a client. This is going to be my first time using it at all, like in general, like period, point blank. I've never used it before, so I'm super excited about it. And um, you guys are going to be right here with me to see how this shampoo bowl, this portable shampoo bowl work for the first time on the first client. And yes, it's going to be super exciting. Let me let you guys see this portable shampoo bowl. So this right here, this is the portable shampoo bowl. And let me show you guys how it work. So this piece right here is the hose that goes on the faucet in the sink. And then this hose right here, this is another hose. This hose here is used to um, go into the a, a bucket. I'll have to put this into a bucket and then one side of it will go into a bucket and then the other side will go underneath here to uh, catch the water. So the water will flow through the hose and then this hose, the water will flow down into a bucket. And then as you can see here, this is the nozzle, the shampoo nozzle where I'm gonna use this to shampoo my clients here so yeah like I said I am super excited about this I cannot wait to get to my client's house and for her to see it and it is a super easy product to disassemble like I put it together myself it's so easy and I'm not a I'm not a handy person you know I don't typically like to put things together because I simply can't but this right here was just so simple and easy and I said to myself shoot you know this gotta be easy if I could put it together because baby when I be trying to put stuff together mm -mm, it just hardly ever turns out right but anyway let's go ahead and get in the car and um yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip so this is the shampoo bowl in the car. Guys, when I tell you this thing is super dope, this thing is so dope. It is so light. I didn't tell you guys how light it was. It literally, like a two year old can carry this thing. That's how light it is. Um, it's easy to assemble. It's easy to disassemble. I think I already told you all that. I guess I'm so excited about how easy it is and how light it is. I just gotta keep telling y'all. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys see how easily it fits right into the front seat of the car. Come on now. You can't get no better than this. All right, so I made it here. This is the bowl. Look at that. How cute. I made it to my client's house. I'm getting ready to go inside and set up the shampoo bowl now. And you're still at the other salon, right? So they, they closed. They, they um closed for renovation oh. because they got new owners. What? Yeah. Again? What you mean again? I thought they. I thought you started there. They had already had. Oh, okay. You talking about that one? I'm talking about the one in. Um, oh, in South Park. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm still there. Uh huh. But not there. If that makes sense, because I don't work every day. Oh. Okay. You know. So it's like one of them things where um, it's really not making any sense, to be honest. You say you're really what? I said it's really not making any sense. I thought they had like this booming clientele and you know, when the lady had hit me up to come and work there, uh -huh. I thought that's what I, I was under the impression that it was gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I really 
have to bring my own clients, to be honest with you. But I don't have enough clients, number one, to bring to them. And then the other part to it is their prices are a little bit steep for my clientele. clientele. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm technically... Okay, y'all. So here's the shampoo roll. Let me show you guys how easy it is to assemble this. It is super, super easy. This is the actual bowl. You can set this right here. So this piece right here goes here. the bowl and sit it here. Wait, before I do that. So this nozzle right here, you have to turn it in order to get a good grip on this pole. And then Take the bowl and sit it right here. And the beauty of it is that it's adjustable. So I can turn this nozzle here and this this bowl area will go up and down. So it's adjustable to the size of like a chair or whatever. So when the, my client sit in the chair, she can lean back at whatever adjustable size it needs to be for the height of the chair. So go down with it. I'm turning the nozzle now and see it goes as low as this. This is the lowest that it goes. And then you just turn the nozzle again to tighten it up. And there you have it. And then when I want to raise it up again, I just turn it the other way and raise it as high as I want it. And voila. But of course, no one is gonna be getting their hair shampooed with it up this high, unless they're a super, super tall person. <laughs> so we'll put that down. And now what I'll do is I'll put it here near the sink and this hose This is the shampoo nozzle, right? That goes here. And this piece right here goes on the faucet. We gotta get it on there, get a nice grip. And then we have this hose, right? That goes here. Is that gonna squirt back? Um, well, I'll adjust it to make sure. Make, you know, once I turn it on, I'm gonna turn it on lightly. Oh, okay. Start out light before we um put it on full blast. <clears throat> okay, so this hose, let me let you guys see. This hose right here goes here on this piece. Asha, can you come and hold this for me mm -hmm. really quick, please? Just hold the shampoo bowl in place so I can put this on. So this goes here. Wait a minute, y'all. You want me to move this? I can move this out the way too, so it's on level ground. Okay. All right. So that goes there, and then this holds. I'm gonna need a bucket to just put the put it inside. Like you got a bucket, mm -hmm. and then the water. So what will happen is the water will come on and go from here into here and then this hose right here the water will come out of here now i can put it in here but the only thing is it's not, is that, it's not gonna the water is not gonna flow the what, okay. upward it has to go downward so either a bucket or a big pot or something like that i have a big pot first off let me start with the fact that my client absolutely loved the shampoo bowl she said that it almost brought tears to her eyes because you guys know 
that feeling of wanting to be laying back, relaxed in the shampoo bowl and not wanting to be, you know, face forward, leaning over in the sink, water falling in your face. And she was getting color. So, you know, she definitely did not want to have to lean forward in the shampoo bowl. So as far as my feelings on this shampoo bowl, I think that I made a very wise investment. It was a small investment of $114 off of Amazon. I would encourage any stylist who want to make house calls, especially for those women who really can't get to the salon maybe because of an illness or something like that. This would be perfect for those type of clients. Um, right now, I'm steadily adjusting the water, checking the water temperature. But overall, this, like I said, this was a very wise investment. Just on this first client alone, I made back my money. Um, as I stated in the video numerous times, it's easy to assemble. It's easy to disassemble. Um, what else can I say about it? So those are some of the pros. Now, the only con is the fact that the bucket or pot or whatever it is that I have to use to catch the water that's flowing out of the hose is that you have to be mindful of how the water is filling up that pot or bucket or whatever it is that you choose to use because I had to stop a few times just to empty that pot out because she didn't have a bucket so now I know that I'm going to have to buy something that is kind of tall, maybe like a tall pail or a tall garbage can or something like that so that I won't have to stop so many times to refill the pot or pail or garbage can or whatever it is that I'm going to going to use or whatever it is that I had used. This time like I said I used a a pot. So, I must have refilled it during each shampoo see that was me like just now looking to see um how full the pot was you'll probably see me doing that every so often like bending over just to look because i want to make sure that it doesn't overflow and um flood her floor but yeah this is um See, there I go now. I'm going to get the the pot and um, empty it. Mm hmm Yep, so there's that. Super, super excited. I can't wait to service more clients and um, use my portable shampoo bowl on them.